Black Lives Matter activists are openly challenging presidential hopefuls on their policies. Last week they confronted Bernie Sanders, and this week they got a private meeting with Hillary Clinton. Clinton has said the system of mass incarceration that has devastated black American communities is broken, and she's made it a big part of her campaign. It's time to change our approach. It's time to end the era of mass incarceration. But the thing is, Hillary was a pretty vocal supporter of mass incarceration when it was introduced by then-President Bill Clinton during the 90s. In 1994, he signed the Violent Crime Control and Law Enforcement Act. It gave us tougher sentences, more prisons, more cops in the streets, and the federal three strikes provision. That meant that if you were charged with a violent crime three times, you were off to prison for life, even if those crimes were relatively minor. Now, Hillary Clinton is not her husband, of course, but she advocated heavily on behalf of those policies. Uh, it's a very well thought out crime bill that is both smart and tough. And at a 1994 annual Women in Policing conference, Clinton said, We need more police. We need more and tougher prison sentences for repeat offenders. The three strikes and you're out for violent offenders has to be part of the plan. We need more prisons to keep violent offenders for as long as it takes to keep them off the streets. Those policies designed to help the Democrats look tough on crime have led to a massive rise in the U.S. prison population over the last two decades. Almost 7 million Americans are locked up on probation or on parole, and minorities are disproportionately targeted. They make up 60% of the prison population, with one in three black men likely to be in prison at some point in their lives. So that was then. Now, Hillary Clinton says that system needs to end, although she still supports adding more cops to the streets. Maybe not what the activists want to hear. As your senator from New York, I supported a greater emphasis on community policing, along with putting more officers on the street to get to know those communities. In the 1990s, there was a lot of pressure on politicians to appear tough on crime. Today, even Republicans like Ted Cruz and Rand Paul talk about the evils of mass incarceration. So has Hillary Clinton really changed her mind, or is she just playing the game? 